Do you have any ideas on if a Garland situation was to happen, where they would go? Because I don't think it's to the Pelicans. So, to be honest, I actually would have thought, if, if a move were to happen, I actually thought it would be towards the Pelicans. Because of how a lot of Chips is moving the way I did not expect Chips to move, because um, not even to really say, because I really didn't have it, but like when you hear the rumors of what PG is starting to do, uh, the mm. confirmations that we hear that Clay Thompson is actually, he's gone. Like he's, he's, gone. he's walking. Um, you hear rumors like, uh, well, not even rumors. LeBron James has opted out, but he's, he's going to re-sign with the Lakers, yeah. but he did that because he knows he's going to acquire something of value mm. to the Lakers too. Even Laurie marketing. It's people that's, uh, that's oh, eyeing sure. That was crazy. That, well, the biggest, the biggest piece to move was DeJounte Murray. Cause I get the Pelicans have their point guard now. So they don't, they, they would have known that the Cavaliers have probably knocked back every deal. And did you see how cheap they got DeJounte Murray back for? Yeah. I know he's probably not the player Darius Garland is because we know when Garland is Darius Garland and not Donovan Mitchell's Robin. Um, <laughs> Darius Garland is a much better player than, than DeJounte Murray. But, I mean, Larry Nance and a couple firsts and Dyson Daniels who hasn't yeah. exactly worked out. Yeah. Yeah, you do that but, trade every day of the week. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm just saying, like the Darius Garland topic. That's why I don't think, I don't know where he would go if the Cavaliers were to trade him. <laughs> that's a good question. Because yeah. I guess there's a lot of teams you can kind of, like there's a couple of teams, I guess you can see what happens, right? Because now I think Orlando is going to be a team where they might open up, right? Because it was a part of Paul mm. George is actually considering Orlando. Mm. Clay Thompson is also considering Orlando. So if those chips do fall, it is some talent that's going to probably have to move. They've already been talking about they want wanting to get a point guard there. Then you got San Antonio. Technically, they drafted a guard. Then maybe you go out there in Portland, see what's available over there. Maybe they want a point guard yeah. over there. I think it's weird <laughs> because I yeah. think because of who moved. Because New York, they made they move. They kept OG. Mm -hmm. um, they traded for Mikael. Um, you got teams like Orlando that's making the moves they making. So it is kind of weird, right? Because it's like, if you do trade Darius Garland, where, to your point, where do he go? There is one team, and we spoke about this with Donovan Mitchell earlier. I don't know where the direction of this team is going. I'm assuming hard rebuild, but they're the only team right now. Like the Cavaliers have had a really quiet off season in terms of trading for players and all this type of stuff. But there is only one player that I know of that the Cavaliers have been seriously linked to that got reported a couple of times. I wonder if the Cavaliers talk to this team. But the Brooklyn Nets with Cam Johnson. I think Cam Johnson is technically the exact player the Cavaliers need. Like they need a forward, right? They need a forward who can space the floor and defend. I'm not sure about Cam Johnson's ability as a defender, but I know Cam Johnson's ability as getting you 14 points per game, averaging 38, 39% from three and being able to guard, I guess, taller players, right? My question for you is, if those rumors of the Cavaliers getting going after Cam Johnson are true, do you think the Cavaliers would be more likely to do a trade that looks like Isaac Okura on a sign and trade with Niang and a first round pick, like it's been rumored that a trade could look like? Or do the Cavaliers say, we'll give you Darius Garland, but we want back, you know, we want back Cam Johnson, we want back another good role player, Maybe that's Finney Smith, who I think is Finney Smith still on the Nets. I don't know what's going on with that team anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. And then a couple of first round picks. Do the Cavaliers look to do that? Do the Nets even? I think from the Nets standpoint, yeah. Mm. I think you do it any day because all you're gonna do is you're gonna make that trade and then you're probably gonna re you're gonna flip Darius Garland again because you're in rebuild mode. So you really don't mm. need DG. I mean, he's young, so I guess technically you can just say here's the here's the star that you know here's the keys. But honestly, I feel like Darius Garland's even technically older than their projected schedule. So I think they flipped Darius Garland again yeah, to that's, an that's even younger true. team. That so, but from the cast standpoint, I really don't think it, it depends on what role players they get on attachment of Cameron Johnson, yeah. right? Because he is a good shooter. Um, and I've actually talked about this on That's Rather Cavaliers. I just don't think Cam jo Cam Johnson is the shooter they need. Mm. And it's kind of ironic because I actually think they do need 
because someone asked me this uncle Tay asked me this what do you think cash should trade for a brandon ingram a type of shooter or a cameron johnson type of shooter I actually lean towards more of a brandon ingram type of shooter because Ooh. he's a shot creator yes um, that's and true I, and i think a shot creator is actually going to do us more justice than a now I'll grant you <laughs> if you can get a player that's dynamic like if clay thompson just so happened to just knock on the door and say hey or do you want us to come you know are you going to give me an offer i might consider to come to cleveland obviously yeah. we do that and honestly i would want us to do that mm. but i do think first like i think first priority if we're looking for a shooter we need a shot creating shooter we mm. need somebody get, because you got to think right like a regular shooter right now gets us a, a really good season a really a really really good regular season right yes but in the playoffs we're gonna have the exact same problem we with don you lack know, of shot creation lot shot because don is gonna get double he's gonna get tripled and the no shooters is gonna get cold because we can't get nobody to get them space yeah. right so that shooting is basically cut in half if you got um brandon ingram or somebody of that magnitude like a maybe maybe paul george maybe you know somebody along that lines it gets different because now a shooter an actual shooter like max Struess, he has a lot more space because you're not gonna you're not gonna double both pg and don because if yeah. you do that max Struess is wide open yeah and then you can kind of fill it out with shooters but i do think uh i do think as much as i love ice i think ice is gone though really yeah is that is that happening yeah I, I think he's gone i i don't think uh if they i don't see them resigning him well actually correction maybe sign and trade sign and trade yeah yeah because uh because they're not gonna let him walk he's a restricted free agent like you got to understand when you got that rfa you know realistically a team is not gonna let you walk unless you was just that bad of a player yeah um, isaac curls He's he's a really good on ball defender. It's just he's just not consistent enough on that corner three or that wing mm -hmm. three, uh, even though he's improved. But I, I do think he gets shopped. I don't think they pay for him because he's gonna look because this this free agency might be honestly the mo the most up for grass free agency the Cavs has seen in a while. Um, so maybe you do look for even though Laurie Markin is not a shot creator, but maybe you look for like a try to trade for Laurie. Yeah uh because actually that that was the team i was thinking of maybe you look to see what's the offers for him maybe you see if pg would be interested in coming to cleveland maybe you see what's the what's the price tag on ingram yeah um even though they already got the card so that might be a little bit of a problem now yeah um yeah well paul george is a weird biased. one like i mean when when all these videos and stuff come out like i'm guessing paul george will have picked his team but like in past tense right now we don't know but i mean that theory yesterday like the rumor that paul george to the nuggets was like pretty much a, a near done deal but the i think they want no they wanted to move on from michael porter jr but i don't know if the clippers were too keen on michael porter jr so that it didn't like work apparently like that was super close and not a single soul had talked about the nuggets going for paul george so i mean it, anyone could really get paul george right so it'd be it'd be pretty funny if he went to some absolute random team like detroit <laughs> but like really of yeah. all, of all. look i, I kind of just pulled detroit out of my ass but i, yeah. I don't know where, i don't oh, know where he's gonna go i'm gonna say detroit fans is probably loving you right now they're like oh yeah my God. yeah we just had this disastrous season and now we get paul george thank yeah. you jordan yes <laughs> <laughs> Mate, am, am I the only one as well? I mean, a bit off topic here, but am I the only one who also thought that Detroit had like, I thought every team kind of did really well in the draft. Like there wasn't really a team that did bad until I look at Detroit. And I don't know what the hell Detroit were doing. And I liked, I want Detroit to succeed. I don't even <laughs> mind the Pistons. Like I don't have any hate towards the Pistons. I loved Blake Griffin on the Pistons. But what the hell you pick, you go, you're like the worst shooting team in the league and you pick like the worst shooter in the draft. Mm. It doesn't make much sense, does it? I think they just don't care right now, man. Yeah, they I just, they, they just want to get them. They got no idea what they're doing.